Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com, and today it's time to have a little fun and maybe get a little funky in our planners. Let's go! Today I am working on three custom spreads for my patrons. We are going to do a child's theme spread for Grizel on a color block layout. Then we're going to do a frozen and florals theme um, on a classic vertical layout for Melissa and wrapping it up with a big happy notes layout that you're not going to want to miss for Debbie. So I will link everything that I end up using down below. Otherwise, let's go. All right, so first up is a spread for Grizel, and her family celebrates Children's Day, um, which is a holiday in Mexico that happens on April 30th, and I love, love, love the whole idea behind this. And it's one of my favorite things when it comes to decorative planning, being able to create spreads that are really personal to you. Certainly the purpose of using a planner of any sorts, whether it's a digital planner or a paper planner, is to keep you organized, is to keep your schedule together, is to give you a place to put all of your ideas, all of your thoughts into one place. And that is definitely the purpose of a decorative planner. However, a decorative planner also gives you the opportunity to express yourself in unique ways. And it gives you the opportunity to just um, bring joy to your week. And that is one of the reasons that I fell in love with decorative planning because I do like writing things on paper. I guess I'm like an analog type person. I like seeing it written out. I like the act of writing it out. That's why journaling has always been a big part of my life. So putting my schedule, putting my priorities, putting my goals on a paper has allowed me to see them in a different way. And I love that being able to decorate that, being able to partner my planning, my um, scheduling, my goal setting with the creative part of my brain um, just solidifies thoughts in my head even more. And I think that's one of the main reasons I fell in love with decorative planning. And you get to highlight fun, fun activities just like this. So for Grizel, I chose a lot of the different Stick Babe sticker books because they definitely give me like this childlike um, feel. I think that they are so fun and um, I thought the bright colors definitely screamed child um, or children and I thought it was just going to be a fun, very rainbowy spread. I happen to know Grizel appreciates all of the rainbow spreads um, so I thought she would like this one and so we're just going to decorate this whole color block layout with all of these different girls having a great time and they are celebrating uh, Children's Day as well. Now, it has been a hot second since I decorated a color block layout spread. I actually use the color block layout every single week for my work planner. It is so functional. I think it's one of the most underrated layouts out there. It's so, so functional, especially for a work planner. Um, we tend to think of it as like a school planner or a student planner because it looks like it's divided up for classes and, you know, you have more blocks during the uh, work week than you do the weekend. However, I think it can work for so many different things and I wish more people would end up giving this layout a try. Um, I have some of my patrons that actually use it for a faith planner, which I think is very cool. They're able to take notes and kind of um, write down and track some different um, ideas and different studies that they're doing. Um, this is works really well for tracking schedules of lots of different people. Maybe you have um, several kids, maybe you have a spouse that you want to track their schedule and you don't need it all in one, but you just want to see what each person is doing. That can be really helpful. Um, this has been used really well as a wellness planner, especially because I think um, a lot of times in our wellness journey, we kind of focus during the week, the weekends, we give ourselves a little bit more grace. We do a few more fun things. And so maybe we don't need to track all the things on the weekends, but we like to um, really expand and look at things closely for the weekdays. All right, I'm so in love with how this particular spread is coming together. I used Stick Girls from several different books. There are the Stick Girls Essentials, um, the Crafty Stick Girls, and then 
um, the teacher one. And actually the teacher one worked out really well because I found several really functional boxes that were sized pretty appropriately for this particular layout. I also ended up pulling boxes from fun illustrations because they had some rainbows that I knew I was going to want to bring in. So I pulled in those rainbows, tried to add a few functional boxes. Um, I will be interested to hear how Grizel ends up using this spread. Um, it is very fun, very bright. I do take up some room with stickers. That's kind of what I do. Um, but there should still be plenty of room to write. And I love the box that says priorities. I love keeping that kind of sidebar. That's how I work um, in my color block planner is I put um, over on the side, I put the videos that I have to do during the week. And then I have a spot for the videos that are going public during the week. And it just, it's been super functional. I've absolutely loved it. Um, and it is one that I'm going to keep doing for a long time for um, all of my work planning. It's just, it's been really great to be able to section off some different things. All right, to finish off the spread, I have numbers. These are from Mojo Jojo's Date It sticker book. So I added the month and the days of the week since Grizel gave me a specific week. And then this one is gonna be done. Okay, so next up is going to be a really fun spread. This one is for Melissa, and Melissa loves Frozen, which don't we all? I think it's amazing, and her favorite characters are Anna and Olaf, which I would completely agree with that. I might throw in Sven, too. I like Sven, um, but we're going to stick with Anna and Olaf, and we're going to go with a Frozen and Florals theme. So what I did was find some images online, and then I printed them out onto sticker paper. Um, I definitely could have put them through my Cricut, but I'm just going to do some fussy cutting here um, and cut all of these different images out. Normally when I have a character, I don't like to reuse them, but I found Anna in all of these different outfits. And so I was like, let's highlight all her great fashion. And for my taste, these particular Annas all have different facial expressions, which I thought was pretty cool. They all kind of have a different look to them. So we're going to have all of them. And then each Anna is going to be paired with an Olaf um, in a different pose or with a different kind of look to him. And I think it's going to be super cute. So I loved the idea of kind of combining um, frozen in florals because I'll, oftentimes we think of frozen as like a winter theme, but we're getting into spring now. And so why not celebrate how much Olaf loves the spring slash summertime and how much he would love to run through a field of flowers because I think he would. So we're going to start using some florals. We're going to put a little field of flowers right here in the middle. I'm actually using um, my planner layout right here is the classic vertical, which is the size um, that Melissa likes. And um, it is a Disney extension pack, but I'm gonna end up covering all of the Disney pieces. It's gonna end up being undated so that the dates can be added whenever um, she decides to put together or use this planner spread. Um, but I'm gonna end up covering all of the little Disney parts because the florals are gonna go down the spine um, of this particular spread. And it's just gonna be this huge, burst of florals with some really high impact um, images of Anna and Olaf and I think it's going to be super cute. Once the florals are down on the page, you can see I just have to trim off the pieces that hang over the edge. I like to do that a lot with the florals just because I think it gives it this um, feel like they just keep going. I like I like for stickers to trail off the edge. And then here I go right down the middle. Now my pages weren't lining up from where I put them down. Um, originally, so I'm going to very carefully cut them apart down here and then re-put them together, line them up carefully, put your sticker down, and now you can continue adding stickers down the middle. It's going to cover up all the little Mickey heads. I think I probably could have left the Mickey heads. I mean, Anna and Elsa and Frozen and all of that is a Disney um, idea, but there is definitely not a Mickey in Frozen, so... I decided we're gonna go ahead and cover it up and it just gives me a chance to add more florals without taking up writing room because obviously the stickers that I printed out are very large and I knew they were gonna be very large, um, which means they're gonna take up room. So really focusing things um, on the edges of the paper or down the middle in the sidebar, um, that allows you to make a really big impact on the page without taking up a ton, a ton of room. So I'm trying to figure out what order, like where I want these different characters characters to be. So she is going to go right here. Oh man, I went back. You see, I like struggled here, here, 
here. Let's just put it down. Let's make a decision, Elisa. All right, so that's down. That means the other um, Anna is going to have to be right over here. And that kind of works because they kind of go biggest to smallest just in the size that I printed them. And then let's put our Olaf's down. This one, I like how the Olaf's are all like dancing in front of Anna. I think it's so sweet seeing all the little groupings together. So I'm gonna cut those two pages apart and then repunch the holes and we will continue decorating. There's not gonna be a ton more because obviously this is already like a high impact spread, um, but there definitely needs to be some functionality on the spread as well. A lot of times when you are decorative planning, it's almost serving as a memory planner as well. And I'm not saying that because you have to journal thoughts or because you have to put photos or anything like that. But when you're decorative planning and using stickers that inspire you or stickers that celebrate a certain event, it's it's a way of memory planning as well. And I think I know a lot of planners that um, end up keeping their planners from year to year that they've spent time with their stickers and filling in plans and things like that because it is a nice thing to look back on over time. You certainly could do that with any planner, but the fact that there are stickers and that um, the stickers tell a story as well kind of changes the way you look at it when you flip back through. So to finish out this spread, I have pulled out Mojo Jojo's black boxes. We're going to put some lined boxes in here um, just because this one gives me more of the feel of like a creative journal type spread. It certainly can be functional, but it can be used for lots of different things. And I thought the lined boxes um, worked really well. I thought putting them in in black um, would work nicely because I didn't necessarily have a green that I thought would go really well. I didn't have a pink that would match and the black um, pops nicely with all of these florals all around. So we're going to add a few black boxes, stick with the lined ones here for the larger ones. And then um, for a little bit more functionality, we will add a few um, smaller boxes as well. But I do have some florals that I can kind of have peeking out from behind the boxes. I love this beautiful bloom sticker book. It is so, so pretty. Stick a few there. Now a little bit more functionality, a little few boxes here. I always try to put at least one box on every day when I'm creating these for my patrons, just because I do want it to be a planner spread that I can use. Sometimes they save them. Sometimes they do use them as strictly memory planning or strictly creative journaling, but I definitely want to give them the opportunity to use it as a functional planner spread um, as well. Not just, not just a decorative one. So just a few little phrases from the sticker book um, here and there because I always like to add phrases in these. Um, I thought worked really well about being brave and having courage and showing up for others, which is exactly some of the lessons that we learned in Frozen. So I'm going to put those down and otherwise this spread is going to be done. Let me know what you think of Melissa's Frozen and Florals spread and then we're going to get super fun and funky with Debbie's big happy notes spread. All right, so this big happy note spread definitely takes decorative planning to the extreme. You can create your own layout. This is kind of like turning your planner almost into a bullet journal. That's one of the joys of bullet journaling is that you start with just the grid or you start with a blank page and you can create something that will work for you. Debbie requested um, this big size happy notes, um, which she often uses as a creative journal, but it can be used in any way, shape, or form that you want. And so um, the way I set it up, I'm hoping is going to give her all kinds of options. We're starting with these gorgeous girls. These are from Jane Davenport. I love me some Jane Davenport. She's a very talented um, artist from Australia who creates some gorgeous supplies. And this is some beautiful kind of collage paper that I'm going to use. And I just love the colors of um, all of these girls with their gorgeous hair. And so we're going to use them as the basis for the page. This is a little out there. I hope Debbie still likes it. She definitely said I could do anything I want and that it could be a surprise theme. So um, I went for it this time, Debbie. So she might, I hope she doesn't regret that choice. So let's get these um, ladies down on the spread. And then we're just going to layer some pieces over them. I have a bunch of cards from the paper person shop, which is a wonderful um, kind of scrapbooking shop. I guess you would say they create all kinds of fun cards and papers and stamps 
and um, just great things that you can use in your paper crafting. And so I have some of these larger cards from the paper person shop and I just love the rich colors. Like that purple, are you kidding me? And this beautiful yellow, I thought they were so pretty. And I like how I have like a warm side and a cool side, how like the pinks and the yellows are all on the left. And then we're going with greens and blues and purples over on the right side. I think it's a fun way um, to kind of set this up. But what I'm doing is creating all of these areas where Debbie can write. She can write whatever she wants. If she wants to journal, um, if she wants to create lists, if she wants to, um, I don't know, write some goals, write some dreams, write whatever she wants. I think that is one of the goals of a planner in general is to give you a place to collect your thoughts. So why not do it in a fun, creative manner, which is what um, I'm doing here. So this is going to be pages that she can put into her planner where she can collect her thoughts, whether they're thoughts on a specific day, whether they're thoughts that she collects over time, um, whatever it is that she wants to do, this page will be able to um, work for her, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, Debbie, if and when you watch this, you'll definitely want to use maybe a white Signo gel pen to write on the darker colored blocks that you see like the purple and the mustardy yellow. Um, so just consider that and then it's uh, the paper is slightly slick so um, let it dry first before you kind of go over it. So um, just something to keep in mind. Now, just to add a little extra personality to this page, I'm actually pulling stickers from an oldie but a goodie. This is the Sassy Plans sticker book and it is one that I've had for a long time, like years now. And I think it's hilarious. It's just really funny words and saying, um, like, that's enough today and for today. Yes, please. And so we're going to add some sassy quotes here and there and yet another box for um, Debbie to write in just to give it a little more personality because you can't tell me that those girls in the background do not look sass sassy because they are. Um, I'm also combining it with the Essential Quotes sticker book because I was looking for some all black quotes. So we're going to layer that in and one or two other boxes from this particular um, book, which is colorful boxes, but they're all like solid colors or gradient colors. And so I'm looking for a few boxes. I kind of struggle with where to put them. You'll see me move it a couple of times. Um, but we're going to get all that on, on the page. And I think Debbie, I hope she loves the spread. It just shows... There's so much you can do with decorative planning. There are no limits. You don't even have to stick with a typical layout. You can change it up and just make it work for you, which I think is one of the joys of doing decorative planning is that you're creating something that is unique and functional for you. All right, so as we wrap up here, let me know which planning spread you liked the best. Was it Grizel's Children's Day spread? Was it Melissa's Florals and Frozen spread? Or was it Debbie's over-the-top creative planning spread? Let me know um, down in the comments below. I will link everything that I end up using down below so you can check the description box for those links. Heads up. They are affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more, but it really helps to support this channel if you are able to shop those links. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for your support. And um, I'm so excited about things that are happening over on Patreon. We have a fabulous community and I would urge you to check the link in the description box to come check it out. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.